Hey guys, and today we're going to be showing you our dubstep theme song for Pet Facts. Pet Facts dropping! <laughs> <laughs> Keep going! Pet Facts dropping! <laughs> Hello everybody. It has been a long winter. It has been a boring winter. But it is now two days from the first day of spring. We are at Denver International Airport. We're getting ready to fly out to go see some of my favorite people. I'm very uncomfortable right now. I don't like the airport, I don't like planes, I don't like crowds, I don't like loud people, I don't like people touching my camera gear, and I've had to be around kind of all of that tonight. So with that being said, I am really excited to get on this plane, get up in the air, get to Atlanta, go see some friends, go find some new snakes, go see some new places. It's gonna be a fantastic, fantastic week. Unfortunately, it is a little too late right now to get out and look for snakes once we land, so I'm gonna see you guys in the morning. All right, everybody, so it is the next morning. We're here with Noah, Aaron, and Killian, and Killian just found my first snake of 2022. Oh, very nice. C2 here, Eastern Garter Snake. Snake Man Aaron's going to find more snake. All right, well, we've all been photographing this snake for a few minutes here. This is an Eastern Garter Snake. She's been pretty well behaved, but now she is changing her tune a little bit. Absolutely awesome snake. If I'm not mistaken, this is actually my life or Eastern Garter snake. And she found a little hole there, so maybe. <laughs> yeah, she found a hole up under this log, so more than happy to let her keep moving. Where'd she go? <laughs> There's like a hole. A yeah, her hole. tail's right here, see it? But yeah, we are in some absolutely awesome habitat. Freshly burned habitat, nonetheless. Um, I might talk a little bit later about why that's important, but looking for scarlet king snakes and really just anything else that we can find so anyways yeah we're gonna get back to it um some great habitat we've only been here about 25 minutes and last time we were here uh it took us a few hours to get a snake so um hopefully that is not the case today but we're gonna just keep hitting this habitat here and hopefully run into another snake sometime soon okay so Something crazy just happened. Aaron was over here, flipped this little worm snake, and while I was getting ready to film it, by the way, I was standing over here when he called out the worm snake. Under that rock was an absolutely amazing Scarlet King snake. Look at that thing, dude. It's so big. He's giant. And She's super giant. Low band count too. Yeah, that. that is great. Nicely done, Aaron. Oh man, that red goes so hard in the sun too. Turner again. Oh, look at that. Beautiful head, covered in red. I'm enjoying life right now. Hell yeah. I've tin flip, rock flip, and board flipped them. That is easily my favorite scarlet king I've ever seen. Here's, here's the worm snake and what Graham could have flipped had he not get distracted by the worm snake. <laughs> and Aaron flip his rock. <laughs> Dude, I was next to it when he called it out. Worm snake, this is. worm snake knowledge man Noah says. I think that's an eastern. Eastern worm snake. Okay. Unimportant because that snake is just ridiculous. Look at that thing. That is absurd. That's and it didn't take us all day today either. Hell yeah, dude. She's grumpy. Ugh, that oh. belly too, dude. Can I hold it? Does anybody, does Here, well, anybody I'll, want I'll this? I'll hold the worm snake. You're gonna you hold, hold the worm? That. Oh, hey, grumpy. You know what's messed up is this snake is two or three times. Actually, the one we found last year was pretty big too. It this was one big, is big, but that one's twice as big. Yeah, this one is twice as big as the one that Noah and I saw last year, but this one is also as nice as far as coloration goes. Yeah, yeah it's, it's probably oh nicer. Oh my god. It's got lower band count too. That's probably the lowest I just mean like the coloration. That thing is ridiculous. So yeah, we absurd, dude. We enjoy things that are red, black, and white around here, don't we? Oh my god. And yeah, that low band count is just insane. It's got like 16 bands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Alright, well, after taking a little bit of time to photograph this snake properly, we are officially ready to release this snake back under its rock where Aaron flipped it. Absolutely wonderful snake. The belly on that snake just is amazing. 
This is such, what is he doing? Oh, he's going back for another one. Yeah, that is a hefty Scarlet King and it bites a lot. And we hold up the belly, Aaron? And just that belly, oh my God. That thing, yeah, I have no words for that. She's gonna go under that one, that's fine. That's where it retreated to, no. after it flipped it. Yeah. Adios, okay. snake. All right, well, moving through more of these hills, and Killian flipped this. This is a little Eastern Newt eft as he puts himself away back under his rock. I don't think I'm gonna take any photos of him, so I am more than happy to let him go back under there, but pretty cool. All right, so a few minutes up the, uh, the trail here, we've got two southern ringneck snakes. Come here, you. These guys are a pretty common snake throughout. We've seen these in Georgia before. And if you've watched any of Noah's videos, you guys have seen these a million times. So, um, neat snakes. These guys would be a pretty good find back home. There you can see that neat belly. This one here is in need of a shed. Um, they probably both could use one. I flipped them both right under this rock right here. So, um, I'm just going to allow them to get back up under there. Um, hopefully they'll get a shed and a meal and um, they'll keep on doing real well out here. But more rocks in the same general area. So, I'm going to flip these. The guys are up on this hill. Evidently there's some tin up here so um, I'm going to finish up over here and we're going to start heading up that way. I'm not even going to pick this guy up because he's uh, probably going to be one of the more common finds for this trip but another ring neck here. Please stop. Just let me put the rock down. All right well this is something that we haven't seen on the vlog in a couple of years now. This is a corn snake that um, Noah and Aaron flipped under a few pieces of tin. A real orange one for North Georgia. Usually they're a little bit more gray in this area, but a really sharp looking snake. Got some awesome shots already. Super cool snake. Super uh, charismatic snake as well. And he's pretty well behaved too, which is always uh, preferred when it comes to, to snakes. He wasn't too bad to shoot. These guys can be a real pain in the butt to shoot. So I was really happy that uh, he didn't put us through too much, but good God. You can see I'm kind of shaking a little bit. We're all kind of running out of energy. This is uh, just walking up and down these hills over and over again. Flipping rocks is exhausting. And after a travel day, hardly any sleep and not much food. Whew, it's been a hard day, but great snake, great way to round the day off. Thankfully, we're kind of experiencing the opposite of what we um, ran into last year here, where we found one snake and then left to go to another part of Georgia, but absolutely fantastic. Um, we're gonna release this snake, uh, hopefully get back to the car soon, and then we're gonna go get something to eat because we sure worked for it today. Hello everybody, today we are back and coming at you from the absolutely beautiful state of Alabama. Today we are down in this area looking for two of my absolute favorite snakes, those being black king snakes and red milk snakes. Um, I have never seen either of those snakes, so um, we are hoping to turn up some of those today, um, as well as some other more common species that we'll find along the way. Right now we are waiting for Aaron and Killian to uh, catch back up. We are a little bit ahead of them this morning. And then from there we're going to head to some spots that are here close by um, where we're going to start looking for some snakes. So um, we're going to take a little bit more in time to just enjoy this area because it is just so beautiful out here. I've never seen a place quite like this before. Um, and then after that we're going to start looking for some snakes. Yes. All right, so first find of the day is one of the most beautiful salamanders, probably the most beautiful salamander I've ever seen in my entire life. This is a southern red or a northern, northern red? red? Northern red salamander. Absolutely incredible. I mean, like, it's honestly stunning that that even exists in nature. Aaron was just talking about how, like, the U.S. is kind of slept on, at least I think it is, for, like, places to go to see awesome stuff but the fact that you can't see that anywhere else in the world <laughs> thanks for all of my dialogue Aaron but yeah that thing is incredible they're pretty common find here as per Noah but uh, that incredible incredible phenotype that we're seeing right there is not common look at the forward-facing eyes like yeah his eyes are on the front of his head yeah dude I love it oh yeah they eat other they're, yeah they're salamander boys this is a lean mean desmog chomping machine and there are people that think that Desmogs are superior to that, too. Absolutely amazing. Well, we've all taken our photos and everything, so I think I'm going to get a quick in-hand video and a photo, and then we will release this guy back under his rock and keep on rolling.
All right, well, first three snakes of the day all flipped right next to each other or all ring necks. Saw a bunch of these yesterday, so we saw a bunch of these yesterday, so I'm just going to release them and we are going to keep moving. But um, we were right over there with the salamander already finding some snakes. So these guys are great food source. They're kind of like a uh, line snakes back home where if you're finding these, that's a great food source for uh, milk snakes and they kind of prefer the same uh, weather conditions. So great to see these guys. All right, next snake of the day, another Midwestern worm snake, same species as the one we found yesterday, but it's a little nicer looking. Still uh, not really that great of a snake, but another one, we are finding snakes. How dare you say that about worm snakes? I like them, but it's not, it's not a red milk, that's for sure. You're right about that. <laughs> also, Noah found another ring neck that I didn't want to walk up the hill to film. So another one of these, we're gonna keep moving. Uh, maybe 30 minutes later, Aaron walked up on a red belly snake basking. Uh-oh, he's getting irritated with us. <laughs> he's about to move. Yeah. These guys are pretty common, so I'm just going to leave them. Next up is a big northern slimy salamander. I just flipped under this big rock right here. Pretty handsome. These guys are pretty common here, so I am just going to pick him up or move him out from under his rock so we can place it back safely and then we will put it back and keep moving. Good morning once again from the mountains of Alabama. After uh, finding those ringnecks last night, we had a pretty rough go of it, wouldn't you say there, Nolan? Yeah, it was rough. Yeah, it was rough, but now, we are back out and we have our first snake of the day. That being this little Midwestern worm snake. We saw one of these yesterday. He's pretty clean. Nice belly on him. Nice coloration on the back. But these guys are a pretty common snake. I can't imagine we won't be seeing another one or two of these today. So targets are milk snakes again. So we are going to get back at it and keep looking. All right, about five minutes up the trail. I've already seen a couple of these. This is a Northern slimy salamander. Pretty nice individual, um, low spot count really. Usually um, more of those big white spots will make it up to the back, but flipped under this rock, which I have to um, resituate back the way I found it. But some awesome habitat here. We're already finding some salamanders. All right, this is probably gonna be the last one of these I show today, unless we get any really nice ones. But that is yet another Northern slimy salamander. This one is really, really small. And he definitely has no fear of heights. He just jumped all the way down and landed on this leaf. So um, I'm going to be careful and get him back under his rock because he is pretty little. Um, but look at how cute he is. That is so cool. Here's a neat little look into the uh, microfauna under a rock in northern Alabama. <laughs> There's a few neat millipedes under here. And our first ringneck snake of the day. Not looking too bad either, which is a good sign. Um, usually this time of year, snakes... Haven't quite gotten a shed out yet, but he's looking pretty nice, so hopefully this uh, population has. All right, well, Noah and I are working along this glade here, and Noah flipped our third species of snake for the day. This is an eastern smooth earth snake. Pretty neat species in here. These guys are slug eaters, right? But yeah, these guys are pretty cool. Um, we're definitely starting to get a little frustrated given that we've been flipping great rocks all day and haven't seen anything larger than a, than a ring neck. But, Snakes are out, so we are going to continue to stay out and continue to put in some work and try to find a milk. Well, just shortly up the trail from uh, that smooth earth snake, I was standing around and I heard one of these black racers doing something in the, in the sticks here. And then after I caught it, I looked down and there was another one sitting there. They were just sitting in this grass basking, which is a great sign. Look at how nice they look too, those white chins being grumpy, biting on the hands. Very nice, very, very nice. Two more snakes for the day though. All we, we just need, just need a little more substance. we just need a little more substance. I agree with Noah. A rattlesnake to coach with. A milk snake, snake. perhaps, <laughs> yes. Awesome, well, we're gonna take some time to photograph at least one of these and then um, I'll grab a little bit more video and we'll release them. After we found that racer, I realized that I left my camera cord or that my camera was basically fully dead. So they were released and we didn't photograph them, but heading back to the car, Noah spotted this guy, pretty good spot. Maybe 15, 20 feet from the trail. 
Um, we're just going to leave him to his business because uh, he is just a racer and we've got milk snakes to find. But we are going to switch it up and go to another spot and hopefully we find some more snakes there. All right, we switched spots after I made a mom, a momentous. That's what I was going for. We spit, <laughs> spit squats at a new spot now. After I made the monumental mistake of not charging my camera last night, we picked up a charger. I got a measly six percent, which should be enough for a photo of a milk snake if I need to. And sure enough, um, next spot, first snake, a couple ring necks. Um, this is one ring neck, but. We flipped two under this rock and one is not here anymore. So pretty good size ring neck and hopefully a good sign. We've been seeing a lot of these to the point where I haven't even been filming them, but this is two slimy salamanders and a zigzag salamander. That slimy salamander on the top there on the left is just, I just pulled a tick off my leg. Awesome. He is great though. That thing is yeah. cool, but triple flip, still no snakes. All right. So I flipped over that rock and this is my life or cave salamander. There were actually two under there, um, but we didn't want to, one of them tried running. Dude, their the jumps jump are impressive. so cool. I don't think like I've ever rock. seen them. Yeah, I've never seen a salamander <laughs> jump like that. But yeah, these guys are super cool. Flipped two of them. One of them uh, skittled away and I didn't really want to, you know, bother ripping through these leaves looking for them. So we just got this one in hand, but super cool. That flat head dorso ventrally flattened body skinny limbs that's all for and big feet yeah big feet too big climb yeah look feet. at those back feet that is badass <laughs> dude maybe that's what the those feet are for i bet you those back feet are for jumping yeah they're so neat awesome salamander but no milks yet we still got plenty of habitat so back under the rock yep watch how quick you can just he might have to find a hole. Does he have one? I think so. Come on. Yeah, he's got, yeah, one. He's got one there. Uh, about an hour later, <laughs> and we've got our fourth black racer of the day. A little one this time. I flipped under a leaner over here. Nice snake, but it's not what we came for. It actually, I don't think you and I have ever been more pissed off Problem, since we've been herping together a bad day. we've got a little bit of habitat left and then we're getting out of here after uh having a very rough day in alabama we tried to uh you know save the day by coming back to georgia and flipping some spots what might be our last snake of the day here it's definitely our best snake of the day yeah that one of those the nicer of the few racers was pretty good too but yeah that is a nice looking uh black rat or an eastern rat these are gray rats here. These are gray rats? Yeah. What's He's he doing? For a gray rat, He's though. fantastic. He looks like a black rat. Yeah. That's awesome. They're normally not this dark here. Gray rat snake. Looking real Oh yeah, I guess I can see it in the in the neck more now that I'm like paying attention to that, but But yeah, great snake. Our first larger than eraser colubrid of the day comes like right at the end as we were about to give That's up. So the very last thing we're gonna flip today. Yeah, but this is gonna be a great snake to end the day on. Uh, tomorrow, the name of tomorrow is all about raising morale and actually finding some snakes. So um, we're going to go home, game plan on that, maybe go out and walk for some amphibians, and then we will see you guys in the morning.